Hi everyone, I'm Chris Hernandez and this is the Weekly Report, a look at news from the city of Kansas City, Missouri. Blue Pride takes over as the Royals make Kansas City proud with their first playoff appearance in 29 years. To celebrate the occasion, City Hall has been decked out in honor of our boys in blue. Well, on behalf of 4,400 men and women of the great city of Kansas City, it's my pleasure to officially declare this Blue Friday. And you can see from the blue lights on the top of the roof to the blue fountains around town and to the blue signs that we've got throughout the building, we're committed 100% to making this, uh, watching this Royals team go all the way to the World Series. So on behalf of all the men and women at the city of Kansas City, let's go Royals! <laughs> Mayor Sly James even issued a friendly wager with Baltimore's mayor. Now, one thing I want to do, Mayor Blake, is I want to make sure that we have responded to your bet. And here's our response. First, when you lose, we know that you love your blue crab cakes and your blue crab. But if you lose, you must then rename them Royal Blue Crab Cakes until the World Series is over. That's number one. You'll never beat the Royals! Residents can join the fun by showing off their blue pride on the city's social media accounts. Find a creative way to combine pride in Kansas City, Missouri with the Royals and then show us with a photo or video on Facebook, Twitter or Instagram. You could win a cool prize and you may be featured right here on Channel 2. So get your game face on. The Big Ideas for Small Business Summit wrapped up last week as city staffers from Boston, Chicago, Los Angeles, Detroit, and other cities visited KC and toured some of our local small business startups to see how our city helps support innovative entrepreneurs. Hi, I'm Rick Usher, Assistant City Manager with the City of Kansas City, Missouri. Today we're hosting the Big Ideas for Small Business Summit with the National League of Cities. We have representatives from over 19 cities across the country in Kansas City on the topics of innovation districts and maker spaces and um, reducing regulatory burden to small businesses. Through this network we're learning from our peer cities different ways of handling similar problems. It's been very useful. Okay, cities attending the conference come from across the country Los Angeles, Boston, New York, Cleveland, Cincinnati, but we're all here in Kansas City to share ideas on how cities can support small business growth and entrepreneurship. We're, we're gaining a lot of insight uh, in this and over the last two years all of these cities have come a long way in sharing ideas and implementing programs from their peer cities. Hello, my name is Scott Love. I'm the Economic Development uh, Manager with Louisville Forward, Louisville Metro Government's Economic Development Department. I'm here at the Big Ideas on Small Business Conference and having a great time learning a lot of interesting things, especially about our host city, Kansas City, uh, specifically the Arts District and how they, they have redone that district, taking old buildings and really had a nice adaptive reuse to some of those buildings. They're also learning a lot about their startup community. Uh, their startup uh, community has been very vibrant, uh, model for a lot of other cities around the country. So we're learning a lot about that as well. So having a great time here, wonderful speakers. Kaufman Foundation has been just gracious with their facilities and just having a great time. My name is Jessica Thiesing. I'm with Salt Lake City Economic Development Office. Um, I'm the Deputy Director and this is my first year here at the summit and I'm very impressed by everything that I'm learning. Um, I think the, one of the, the biggest things you realize when coming to uh, a forum like this with people in similar fields from all over the country is that we face a lot of the same issues as major metropolitan areas and in, in cities. Um, and so the tools that I'm taking away from this event are going to be very beneficial um, as I implement, hopefully implement some of them in, in my city. Hi, I'm Raphael Carbonell from the City of Boston's Office of Business Development. And what I love about the Big Ideas for Small Business is threefold. Number one, we get to share what we're doing in Boston and get feedback on that. Number two, we get to learn what others are doing and look what we can potentially adopt in Boston. And really, one of the biggest items for me is the third, which is we really bring a spirit of entrepreneurship in order to serve the people who are entrepreneurs themselves. So how can government become more like entrepreneurs and be entrepreneurial in its serving of our constituents? And that to me is what makes this really exciting, is working with peers to take that to the next level. 
So I appreciate being here. And thank you to the National League of Cities and thank you to the Kauffman Foundation for organizing as well. Um, we've had a great time in Kansas City. All of the cities are really complimentary of the, the businesses that we brought into the conversation. And we're looking forward to ongoing calls throughout the year and next year's event, wherever that may be. Now let's check in with some of our city's departments. Hi, I'm Janet O'Hagan with the Kansas City Convention and Entertainment Facilities. Throughout the year, City Facilities host a variety of exciting and unique events for all interests that add to the Kansas City experience. November is a month with many events to choose from. On Friday, November 7th, all Kansas City metro area students from middle school age through college are encouraged to participate in the third annual Sleepless in the City project presented by the Lend a Hand Family Organization. Sleepless in the City is a sleep out created to raise awareness around the issues of youth homelessness in Kansas City. During the sleep out, students will gather at the convention center's Barney Alice Plaza and experience homelessness firsthand by spending the night outside for 12 hours. The event will help raise funds for advocacy programs in Kansas City, such as Hope Faith Ministries, whose missions are to help end homelessness. Parents, teachers, community leaders, civic leaders, and city officials are encouraged to take part in the event as well. For information, contact Kalina James at 816-457-7312. Kansas City's most exciting charity boxing event, Guns and Hoses, is coming back to the Kansas City Convention Center Grand Ballroom on November 8th. Police officers, firefighters, and EMT paramedics will square off in the ring to see who will reign victorious. All proceeds benefit the Kansas City Crime Commission's Surviving Spouse and Family Endowment Fund, SAFE, providing financial assistance to the spouses and children of those who make the ultimate sacrifice for our safety. Go to KansasCityGunAndHoses.com for ticketing and event information. The Price is Right, live on stage, comes to the Music Hall on November 15th. The Price is Right Live is the hit interactive stage show that gives eligible individuals the chance to come on down to win for some really great prizes. Play classic games from television's longest running and most popular game shows from Plinko to Cliffhangers to The Big Wheel and even the fabulous Showcase. Tickets available at Ticketmaster.com or walk up at the Municipal Box Office. For more family fun in November, the Ararat Shriners who have called Kansas City home for 79 years will be returning to the historical Municipal Auditorium November 20th through the 23rd with lions, tigers, elephants, and the circus acts that make this event so exciting and fun for all ages. More than 30,000 residents are expected to attend this year's circus. Tickets are on sale at Ticketmaster.com and you can go to KCShrineCircus.com for additional information. These are just a few of the many events taking place at your Kansas City Convention and Entertainment Facilities. To learn even more, visit KCConvention.com and click on the events calendar or call 816-513-5000. Hi, this is Heidi Downer and Harley the Puggle with Kansas City, Missouri Parks and Recreation. And today we are at the Bay Water Park in South Kansas City for the end of the season pool party for dogs, Dippin' Dogs.
is at Kansas City Parks and Recreation at Puggle in the Park on Casey Parks social media. Last week, Kansas City's 18th and Vine Jazz and Blues Festival brought jazz fans from all over the area to enjoy a jam-packed lineup of over 22 musical acts on multiple stages. The Jazz Fest also featured food, art, workshops, film screenings, panel sessions, and a children's pavilion. All proceeds from the festival support cultural programming at the American Jazz Museum. And here's a crazy idea for a charity fundraiser. The municipal court raised more than $470 for the city's combined charity campaign during a chili cook-off and kiss the pig contest last week. More than half of the money was donated by employees who wanted to see a municipal court or prosecutor's office manager kiss a real live pig. The winner was finance manager Heather Weidenhammer, whose donation jar gathered $112. Way to pucker up, Heather. For more information about these stories, please log on to kcmo.gov and search for the weekly report. That does it for this edition. I'm Chris Hernandez. Have a great week.